Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA 5 today. I am joined by Zylus. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome, welcome. Duncan, hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Right. Yeah, good, thanks. good. O's. Hello. <laughs> Would you have the smoke? Uh, ben. Hello. Hello, hello, and Boof. Hello. We're in the smoke in the rain. So trucks only. Truck only. Truck only. Bikes illegal. Bike illegal. Good thing I have a truck. What are the cool things that are bad for you? Cool things? Smoking. Smoking, drinking. Energy drinks. No, but back in the day, there were loads of things. Like, it was cool to have, like, glowing radium... Radium, you know, jewellery and stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> radium. <laughs> lead, Lead-based makeup. <laughs> radium paint. Lead yeah. paint. Yeah. Mercury in your hat. Uranium glass. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Bring back asbestos. <laughs> I don't think asbestos was ever cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it can't burn. It's really cool. That's true. You can cover yourself in it and you'll be fireproof. <laughs> asbestos in itself, not cool. Popcorn ceiling stuff. Oof. That was some guy's mm. thing. Who was it? Marco Polo had a rug made of asbestos and he would get like spill a like a load of mushroom soup on it or whatever or tomato soup on it and then put it in the fire to clean it yeah, yeah. wow I remember that, I, remember that. <laughs> I wish I could burn my clothes to clean them that'd be yeah amazing. like asbestos jeans you just chuck it in the fire and then he comes out clean that's lovely sick yeah. that does sound pretty cool to me yeah that sounds really cool um I guess like energy drinks you know mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. like energy drinks fun tasty they're still cool Fun, tasty time, but then everyone's like, "You shouldn't be eat, shouldn't be drinking all them energy drinks." Why not, though? I don't know. I don't know who's decided that they're bad. Are they really bad? I don't know. I drink them. Probably not healthy. I'm guessing, but like, I, like, do not underestimate like how cool Prime was last year. Like, not only was it like the cool drink to drink. Is that even an energy drink? I just think it's just like they have an energy line, from what I understand. Yeah. Oh. But kids in the playground were selling empty bottles to each other. What? What? Having an empty bottle was cool. <laughs> so lame. First of all, what are we using as the word cool? Are we using the word cool, which is what kids think is cool, which everyone else thinks is lame? Yeah. Right. Doing, but then again, maybe maybe something that is cool is also lame automatically. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, like Taylor Swift is, you know, cool to the people who like her and lame to the people who hate her. Like, it's, it's there's always a, if something gets big enough, there'll always be people who find it cool to hate it. Yeah. There's that episode of The Simpsons where the Marge is being cool, but then she says she's cool and now she's lame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Simpsons have done it already. Oh my God. We have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. I just like, I can't see how Prime was ever cool. Like When you said Prime, I thought you said crime. Oh, wow. Crime. And crime is, is kind of cool. Crime? No, crime is cool. <laughs> well, right? There was an app that would tell you which shops still had Prime left in stock. Like, someone had dedicated an app for shops to, like, sign up to. But it doesn't even taste good. No, it's awful, but it was marketed <laughs> by, you know, people who were popular with kids. <laughs> like, that's Pro all it is. I don't think Prime ever took off in the Netherlands. There's this corner shop near where I live that, like, was boasting about the fact that they had Prime. I, I, it's always there. I, I don't think they ever sold out. <laughs> I just wasn't you know, cool in the Netherlands. Like, I d yeah, I don't think people cared. <laughs> like, this doesn't re doesn't respawn you at a place that's possible to do make the jump. <laughs> yes. I guess you know, coolness will always be a localized thing, right? And it's always it's always time limited, right? Because as soon as the uncool people mm. figure it out, it becomes uncool. Right? Exactly. Then you got to get a new cool thing. Once yeah. everyone's doing it. Exactly. My trick is to never be cool, and it's hey. fine. Well, no, your trick is to stay in the nostalgic past where it's become cool, and then it can't be uncool again. There are things that I've liked. I, I was, like, cool before the curve. I was cool. Oh, no, I was uncool, and then people started thinking things were cool, and I was like, hang on a minute. Oh, the broken clock strategy. Now, now <laughs> video tips are worth, like, 20 grand. So you're saying Boof is cool... Like twice a day, <laughs> twice a decade, <laughs> twice a decade. That's more like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, true. Not a day. I'm on an off day today. You know, the wheel turns and it all comes around again. It, you know, mullets are back in for some insane reason. And I see. So if you just maintained a mullet over the last <laughs> twenty years, <Yeah. laughs> I saw the other day the, the new trend for haircuts, and I'm hoping it was a fucking joke and a meme. But because if not, I will never understand fashion again. Like not like I, like I ever did. But, uh, <laughs> 
the bull cut <laughs> is apparently making a comeback. Oh, no, the bull cut. I've seen the bull yeah. cut. Jesus, how desperate! Oh my God, they might as well bring back brown suits and those fucking massive eighties <laughs> glasses. <laughs> they probably will at some point. I don't know if the bull cut was ever cool then either. I, like... I hate to say it, Lewis, but the massive, the massive eighties glasses have already been in style for a while ago. Oh, I know. I know. I kind of know. <laughs> I think anything that is too much of a statement doesn't stay cool for long, though. I think mm. that's anything that's too out there doesn't stick around that long. See, in my opinion, it's like people thinking that Y2K is really like neat again and, and Y2K fashion. But they they weren't there. They weren't in the early 2000s. It was terrible. They don't know how lame it was. It looked like not. <laughs> and also, like they're, they're thinking that their style is Y2K. And it's like, no, we never had anything as nice as that. It was yeah. jeans with a dress. You know, it was people are like, my style is Rachel from Friends. And I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean? That is not, that is not Y2K. <laughs> That's my style, dude. <laughs> Rachel for friends. You gotta have those nipples. It's like the mullets that people have now are not like mullets in the 80s. No. They're not as extreme. Nicely cut mullets. Yeah. Once then they were just fucking mess. Modern mullets. <laughs> I mean, where, do you have to have like the bad teeth with them? Like, where does this stop? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think it stops before that. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think you found uh, the sweet spot, actually. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the line. That was over quickly. Yeah, that was a quick one. It was. This is the warm-up one. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't be disappointed, Oz. Oh, is that it? Story of my life. <laughs> Women said to me that was over too quickly. I wonder what is going to be cool next then. We should all start doing something. One and try and just hope it comes back. <laughs> I mean, I, like I say, asbestos, or, you know. <laughs> Bring back asbestos. <laughs> Bring back asbestos. Start wearing asbestos clothes, <laughs> and there'll be a fire, there'll be a massive fire, and we'll be laughing. Yeah, replace your old, like, laundry washing machine with a fireplace. Just install yourself a cleansing <laughs> fire pit in your utility room. <laughs> you don't need a washing machine. Just chuck it on a bonfire. The next thing, big thing for men, uh, I'm calling it now sideburns. Oh, Ooh. I fucking love sideburns, man. Do you reckon we'll get mutton chops back? Yeah, mutton chops. Yes. Mutton chop uh, mustache that connects to the the mustache, you know, yeah, the yeah, imperial the... man. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, yeah. 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 Isabard Kingdom Brunel punk. <laughs> <laughs> That is steampunk. <laughs> I was studying different kinds of sideburns on my stream at some point because I thought that they were so good. See, I'm. What is the superior sideburn? Uh, why are they called sideboards? I thought they were sideburns. Yeah, they are, but some people call them sideboards. I've never heard that. And why is one of the search terms sideburns girl? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, no, no. They were in for a very limited period of time. Yeah, man, chops. They're, they're, due, they're due for a comeback. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think personally, the thing that is, um, the thing that struggles to be in fashion, but has got has its moments, is is hats generally. Oh god, right? yeah. Mm. Hats come and go so fast. I want cowboy hats to come back, but it only takes one <laughs> like milady meme to ruin them. Do you know what I mean? They're very fragile yep. hats. We oh. yeah. <laughs> really are. I think cowboy hats can be done in a, if you live in the south. What, like London? Yeah, if you're actually a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> you're bright and, bright and big on cowboy hats. <laughs> it's like Peaky Blinders sort of made um, the... Flat cap. Oh, yeah, flat caps are Yeah, bad. that's true. I, yeah, I, I wear flat caps. Flat caps are awful. What are you fucking talking about? I wear a flat <laughs> cap. Zyla famously shit. wears a flat cap. Oh, God, I know. I don't think it suits you, dude, honestly. <laughs> oh, my God, Lewis. Sorry to break it to you now. Lewis chose violence. <laughs> This was an intervention. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Luckily, I don't take fashion advice from Lewis. That's fine. You look like a stand-up comedian with it on, though. Thanks, that's thing, a little bit. That's, that's the look I'm going for. I'm glad you noticed it. The time when trilbies were sort of everywhere, that, it, that was a dark time. Yes. The trilby time. It's hot. I'm glad it's over, honestly. They, they, they should ban that hat. They should make that hat illegal. <laughs> I mean, the internet kind of has made it social suicide to try and wear that hat. Right? That's a fedora. There are some really bad hats, though. The fedora is worn by t two people, really cool gangsters, and like the most uncool person in the world. <laughs> a guy who owns a katana. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Sorry if you own a katana. I'm sorry. Swords are cool. Katana's yeah. not so cool. They should be, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. It, it's weird, isn't it, how like 
the, the kind of people who like something can make it better or worse. Oh, right? yeah. So, like, mm. I used to be into, like, Japanese history. I thought it was really cool and interesting, uh, yeah. like, in the 90s. And then in the 2000s, it got ruined by all the other people who liked Japan. <laughs> yeah, and now yeah, I yeah. don't like Japan stuff anymore <laughs> because it's been ruined. It's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> This map is hell, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> can I just say, like, the one time I managed to make it through. I'm kind of liking it, I'll be honest. This is a... Okay, Tylus. How far has anyone made it through this map? I I've already finished the lap. Oh, there's more than one lap? Okay. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, I know it's bad because everyone else is also chain respawning on top of me. <laughs> and no one's made it further than me. And I've died, I'd say, 50 times now. What are you talking about? I'm having a great time. I picked... Well, Xylus, has anyone noticed how Xylus is in a very different plane to the rest of us? Mm. Oh. I just went with default plane, and he's got some kind of like big wing. I walked for what it's worth. I, t I tested this map with default plane, and it was very doable. Okay, no, fine, no, very doable. <laughs> very doable. <laughs> Lewis, I thought you wanted a challenge. Like, what the fuck? I put my landing gear down, and I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying to. Oh, just that's a great down. idea. I recommend doing that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I got. I got through three checkpoints in a row without crashing. Oh no, yeah, Ben, you, you hero. I think, oh. I think this just means I've caught up with Lewis, though. It doesn't mean I'm actually in oh. the lead. Oh. Ah. No, I'm at the back. I didn't go through any checkpoints. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I'm in last. Oh, I'm in fifth. I'm in fifth. So someone is behind me. Yeah, it's me. Having... I got through, and then I couldn't reach the checkpoint. Oh, no. It's because you're too short, Booth. I know. <laughs> art imitates life. <laughs> is this art? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, in that it serves no practical purpose, I see. <laughs> Look at all my dead planes on the floor here. This is oh, terrible. No. This is terrible. Oh, shit. Who's overtaking me? The what the? Lewis. <laughs> Where did you come from, Lewis? Are you in a different plane, Duncan? I'm in like a fighter jet. You just killed me by running into me. <laughs> no, you ran into me. You ran into me. No. <laughs> You're implying Lewis has some level of control over his plane there, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's a stick! No, Lewis, they were taking me! Oh my god! I used to have a, a VHS tape that I would tape my um, favourite music videos onto. Yeah? But I, would, I would, like, have Kerrang! and MTV2 on and tape it. Scuzz. I like Scuzz! Scuzz! Rosie was into Scuzz. Rosie was a Scuzz girl. A VHS1 as well? <laughs> yes. I don't think it had an S on it. I think it's just VH. Video VH1. Hits. Yeah. How oh, was it? VH1. 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 Um, I used to love all their music channels. I feel like a lot of that stuff, you don't actually sit down and watch it. You just turn it on. Have it on, yeah. And leave it there. It's a lot of, like, background telly. It started off as that as well. Yeah. Like, I mean, music is something you don't very rarely put on and you, like, concentrate. Our granddad very much enjoyed the uh, <laughs> Ramshine video. Uh, yeah. Sonna. Really? Yeah. yeah. He really liked that. As soon as that came on, he sat up a bit. Some reason. <laughs> oh, granddad. <laughs> oh, granddad perky. likes Rammstein. <laughs> why, why, sorry, could you explain the joke? Why did he like that video? Oh, because it's like, um, there's a really, really sexy, busty Snow White in it. <laughs> That's spanking seven dwarves, yeah. Yeah, okay. which are Rammstein. <laughs> uh, As dwarves. No. So it's this big lady, like, with normal sized guys. And she's in a bath. Oh, but she's so big, she makes them look like dwarves. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Anyway, he liked that. Rouse would like that. <laughs> um, they used to have days where, like, Prodigy had a new music video out, and they would just play that non-stop for 24 hours or 48 hours. Oh, my God. That's, that sounds like torture. And I was, like, really mad at that, because I yeah. wanted to watch other things. Mm. Like, I'm fine with it once or twice. I mean, these things were basically just TV radio stations. Could you imagine if a radio station played the same song for 24 hours? That's just insane. Yeah, that's called Christmas. Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. I guess, like, that's just, that was, the, I guess that was the, the first way of doing on demand, right? No. Oh, so basically, yeah. on demand, you can watch the music video for this song, you were like, you don't have any time you of day. You could phone, you text in to have your, your choices, your selection. You could, t like, text, Text a little code in. Did you, did you ever try that? Yeah, and it worked. Did it work? Yeah. I always yeah. assumed it was just like there'd be too many people and I wouldn't get enough votes. It's like a digital jukebox. Yeah, it's fucking great. Only for, on the telly for music videos. 
man, people, these these business ideas <laughs> are so wacky. So many of them died with the internet. Mm. So sad. <laughs> I don't know how sad it is. I, I don't have massive nostalgia for phone-in votes <laughs> and, like, teletext and all this old <laughs> I shit. I do kind of have nostalgia for that. But it was just worse. It was a simpler time. Mm. It was a worse time. Do you remember the Nintendo hotline where you had to ring up and get oh, hints for games? I rang that once. I was I thought I was going to get to ask someone how to beat a level I was stuck on, but it was just like a loop of like, yeah. on level three, you can do this. On level one, you can do this. And it was like this pre-recorded message. There was one I, I rang once that I would talk to a person. Oh. They would chat to you about it. I remember it. I had to, because I, 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 I rented Metal Gear Solid and I, the, the fucking code for this person is on the box and I'm like, oh, I don't have CD the box. Yeah. I don't have the CD case. Imagine having that job to be like, I am the, you know, I'm the person that they call up for hints about the game that they're playing. That's, that's amazing. It's just a person who has the box. That's what <laughs> everyone else is renting it or pirating it. It's like, I'm the guy with this fucking box. A box haver. So, I mean, yeah. I wish I could be box haver. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I made my dad email somebody about my... So this was... I was very young. I was playing Spyro 3 hmm. and I wanted to complete it 109%, which is possible. Okay. There is a bug in that game. Unbeknownst to 10-year-old me, I didn't realise. And... Um, it, it like cucked me out of my last egg that I needed. Oh no! Oh, you and, hard locked yourself. And I made my dad like email somebody about it, <laughs> and they were like, "Well, we can we can send off your uh, your save file save file cartridge, or you're just gonna have to redo it." And I obviously redid it because I was like, "I'm not oh, I'm not sending God. off my save no scary game cartridge because they were expensive at the time, you know." That always blew my mind. I never understood why there wasn't just a built-in memory save card on a PlayStation. Like why? Like it was an essential thing. Like half the games just literally couldn't be played without it. Yeah, but mm. to be fair, like we we filled up quite a lot of those things. Like if it was built in, you would you'd have to be deleting your saves well, all the time. What if there was one built in mm. and then you could buy extra ones? Like, yeah. Do you know what was really good about memory cards, though, is that you could swap them with your friends. Like, That's true. Yeah, that is very true, actually. The icons like, that you get on them as well yeah. for yeah. the games. I mean, game cartridges for, like, Nintendo games had memory cards built in to some of them, and also, like, actual RAM chips and stuff in some of them because they needed, like, the extra RAM to run. It was just... They just put them in the fucking cartridge. Like, some of these... You know, we think of games now as just like a load of files or a CD, like the cheapest possible way to just transfer the game files. You know, ugh, those cartridges, some of them were absolutely chock-a-block with chips and stuff. True, although mm, they've, they've run out now. Like, I've got a Game Boy and I can't play a couple of the games on it anymore because the battery in the cartridge is dead. You can change the, you can change the battery in it. Oh, because at the moment it can't hold a save. You turn it off and it deletes everything. That's how I used to play Mario. <laughs> what do you mean? Mario never had a save function. Is it like, do you have to go to a specialist or change the battery or can you do it yourself? You can just unscrew it and just change the battery. I think it's like a little tiny... It's like a but like the button batteries, the f the watch battery type things, the the big flat ones. Okay, I'll look into that. Oh, they're that big. Yeah. Similar to the ones that you have in your computer. Computer, yes. Oh, the computer clock battery. Yes. yes. Is everyone else dead? Yes. I died. Are you, who's alive? It's one v one. Oh. Oh, I've been hit like twice already. That's bad news. It's all right. Let's do a machete fight. Okay. You call him machete. I call him Machete. Machete. Right, one on one. Machete. Okay, I have Machete. You also have. What else do I have? Unarmed. Oh, boring. All right, let's go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no. Where <laughs> 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 are you going? <laughs> Come up here. Go up here. Go, oh, 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 careful. Shit. Oh, he's falling. Come down here. <laughs> 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 Uh, no! Oh no! no he's you, got oh, me. you're going. Come on, Duncan! <laughs> oh, you're, you've lost. Oh no! Oh. oh. Ambush. <laughs> ambush. It's mm. a ambush. It's one of my favourite jokes. He says and doesn't tell the joke so that people that are <laughs> watching don't know oh, what. Oh no! Google it. It's long. Google long ambush joke. <laughs> long ambush. <laughs> it's the guy that's in the desert. You know, there's the guy in the desert, and he and he he's like, oh no, this isn't a very good joke. He's he's starving, and he and he. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's one of Duncan's favourites, though. <laughs> and he sees the bacon tree, and he gets to it, and he's like, this isn't a bacon... And then all these men come out and shoot him, and he's like, that wasn't a bacon tree, it was a ham bush. Was that a long joke? Because literally the other day, I read... I, I sat and I read... I read a joke and it took me half an hour to fucking read. Was it good? Oh. Yeah, some of those jokes that I hate the, the that that gimmick of the joke is really, really, really long. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I'm sick of that format. That that is just the joke. Ha ha! I wasted loads of your time. Yeah, yeah. it was basically like um, there's a guy. Walk they always have a guy in a desert as well. Why is it always a guy oh, in a that fucking really desert? Funny. That's really funny. That's really funny. Well, it, it depends who's who's telling it. Sometimes you know. There was that joke with the guy that's always queuing for stuff, and at the end he went, he goes to queue for for punch, and then there's no punchline. Yeah. Oh. There's, so there's um, a guy in a desert, and uh, he he comes across a massive snake, and there's a big like like they just add oh. loads of fluff to it, don't they? Loads of detail. Like, that's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. And there's Are a snake you... there, and um, he, there's a big lever. No. Oh god, no. he all died, so I didn't even get to get on the platform. The lever will destroy all of humanity. And he's like, "You, I'll grant you some wishes, but you have to be able to pull this lever like if you think that humanity is doomed. And uh, he keeps going to see this snake because he's like, he got some wishes off it, this magic fucking snake. And the snake has a son and he says, take my son around the world and show him everything and are you telling the long version here or the short version Boo? this is the short version <laughs> and so he comes back and he's like driving he has to get there for some fucking reason he has to get there really fast where's he going the snake's called Nate um, you can see where this is going he drives he drives the, the truck and he can't he loses control he's tumbling down the sand dunes and he he drives into the snake called Nate and he says better Nate than Lever uh, because he doesn't right. want to destroy humanity but he will he wants to kill the snake because the snake's I fucking remember. tired of living for thousands of years what's the lever again it destroys humanity so oh, he didn't right. want to he didn't want to pull the lever i say lever <laughs> so it doesn't really work well, yeah. <laughs> you have to yeah. really Better Nate than Lever. <laughs> That's actually a better punchline. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like when you're trying to tell somebody your dream. Adult, yeah. It does, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Who is saying that they hate people telling people about their dreams? Everyone hates it, Os. Oh, it's, it is you. Yeah, it was you. I always like the line in Always Sunny where Dennis is like, Having people describe their dreams is like when they show me their photos of them being on holiday. Unless I'm in them or people are having sex, I'm not interested in your dreams or your photos. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Very that good point. It. Yeah. Oh, I was oh. going to fight you. <laughs> I'm thinking about ham now. Ham mm. bush. A bush made of ham. I don't want a bacon tree. I want a ham bush. I could do with a bacon tree too. Ooh. Crispy bacon tree. Oh, if it comes ready cooked, that would be really nice. Yeah, I don't want a raw bacon tree. <laughs> raw bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna fry it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a pan tree as well. Oh. oh my god. I mean, although when it's autumn and the and the bacon falls off, it goes crispy like the leaves. Oh, like oh, leaves. Yes. I like that. I can't wait for autumn for when my, my bacon gets cooked. And then <laughs> and you go around and you kick all the bacon. And, Kicking through the bacon. And then you find out that some dog's done a big shit in the pile oh, of bacon. No. No. Oh, no. I was going to eat that bacon. And then it it gets all over your lawn and it makes your grass go all mulchy. Then you have, yeah, you got to rake it off your lawn, otherwise your grass dies. And yeah, that's happened to me before. Mm. <laughs> And you got to plant new grass seeds. You've got to plant new bacon. i got to plant my bacon. If you could have a tree that grew food, what what would you... I mean, I know that they exist. <laughs> <laughs> I love apples. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, unconventional. <laughs> can I just have, like, a hamburger tree? A completely fully formed burgers? Yeah, a fully formed hamburger tree. Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. nice. Plant some Cheerios and get donuts. If yeah. a tree grows in Hamburg, <laughs> wouldn't it be a hamburger tree? That's oh, true. Oh, it would exist. Yeah. Yeah, it's not quite as the same though, is Frankfurt it? Frankfurt tree. 
True. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if I'd like a hot dog tree. That would be weird. <laughs> you could stand under them and, and wait for them to drop off down your throat. Oh, it would be like a, wi- a willow tree. They'd all be drooping and flopping around in the wind. <laughs> that, that Newton's law of uh, gra- whatever. Who, who did the gravity? Yeah, Newton, Isaac Newton sat under a frankfurter tree and got hit on the head with a sausage. He, it went down his throat and he choked to death. <laughs> I've invented gravity and deep throating. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. All right. Well, that's enough um, GTA. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.